Dedepin will say aye. aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. I call on Government Order of the Day number three. Government notice motion number two regarding consideration of the budget and examination of estimates. A point of order, Chris Hopkins. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I seek leave to amend the motion as set down on the order paper uh, by uh, to replace in paragraph two in a week with in any week, and to replace to be estimates week uh, with to be an estimates week. Uh, that's in accordance with the conversations that I've had with the other side. Is there any objection to that? There appears to be none. The motion is so amended. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I therefore move the amended uh, motion in my name, uh, setting out uh, matters regarding consideration of the budget and the examination of the estimates. Uh, this motion, if agreed, will become a sessional order that makes changes to the how the budget process is handled by the House and it's through select committees. Uh, there are four elements to the motion, and I'll quickly go through each of them. Currently standing order 333 dictates that the budget must be delivered on a Thursday. Now, this has not always been the case, and there really isn't a good reason to say that it must be done on a Thursday. The first uh, section of the motion sets out that it could be either a Tuesday, a Wednesday or a Thursday for the budget. Uh, this means that if there's legislation resulting from the budget to be passed under urgency, as there often is, uh, it might make sense to do it during the working week rather than extending the parliament into the weekend, as has often been the case in the past. It doesn't say to the government that that, in any government that that is what must happen. It gives the government of the day that opportunity. Uh, the budget date for 2019 has not yet been set. That's a matter for the Minister of Finance. Uh, the consideration for esti the estimates by select committee is a very important part of the House's scrutiny uh, of the government's uh, spending plans, uh, with ministers appearing before select committees being a core part of that process. For the last couple of years, estimates, an estimates week has been identified uh, with the idea of focusing estimates hearings in a week or around a week and a half, I think it, it roughly worked out to be this year. Uh, the success of this uh, initiative, of course, has been limited by the fact that the, that the time earmarked by the Business Committee has been a non-sitting period. So paragraph two uh, of this motion allows for the Business Committee to identify a sitting week or now sitting weeks uh, where the select committees might meet to examine estimates referred to them by the House, including when the House is sitting. Uh, this is important. Uh, because that would not normally be permitted under the standing orders. This will make it easier to, uh, for the select committees to arrange their programme and to ensure the availability of ministers to attend to that. Um, I can give the House an assurance that as the Leader of the House, for as long as I am the Leader of the House, that I would endeavour during any a week to be identified as Estimates Week to schedule business uh, that is of the less controversial nature and more low-key so that members during that time can focus on the very important task of scrutinising the estimates uh, as fully as possible. Uh, the amendment that I sought uh, leave for at the start of this debate clarifies that the Business Committee could nominate more than one week to be Estimates Week. Uh, currently, standing orders give select committees two months to report on the estimates that are referred to them. Uh, in practice, this period uh, is reduced by the time taken by the Office of the Auditor General uh, to produce the briefings for the committees and for their reports to be written and considered. So paragraph three extends the period by which select committees uh, must report to the House to 10 weeks after Budget Day. It's a small amount of extra time, but it does give select committees more space to do their job thoroughly and ensure that the examination of the estimates is effective. Uh, the third, uh, currently, the third reading of the main estimates bill has to take place within three months of Budget Day. The estimates debate uh, by the Committee of the Whole House uh, normally takes place after Select Committee's report. Uh, it occupies 11 hours of the House time, and then the third reading takes a further three hours. Therefore, an extension of time given to Select Committees also needs to be matched by an extension of time for the final stages of the House's consideration. Uh, which is what paragraph four of the motion does uh, by requiring the third reading to be completed by four months after the delivery of the budget. Uh, these are relatively small changes to the budget process, uh, but collectively together they, I think, offer significant enhancements to the ability of the House and of members to perform the very important uh, scrutiny function that the House has. And I'd like to thank the Business com uh, Committee for facilitating uh, these changes uh, and for uh, supporting this debate.
I call the honour. Oh, uh, the question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the honourable Jerry Brown. <coughs> uh, Madam Speaker. Um